Good afternoon. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. This morning, me, Daniel, Peter, and Air Force Nun, we took out an ancient R22 three-ton system in a horrible attic, horrible attic, used a pipe wiper to wipe down the existing line set, replaced the air handler, and replaced the condenser, and we installed the Bosch IDS 2.0 heat pump system. And we utilized the Bosch BCC 100. Of course, we used the Rector Seal Surge Protector to protect the condenser. Pretty epic and very, very confined space. And that's the reason why now at 2.30 in the afternoon, I'm in the pool. Stick around, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Sharing is caring. Remember, sharing is caring. I love you. You love me. And let's get going. All right, good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. We're working in a very confined location this morning. We're gonna take out this air handler, the R22 condenser that's outside, and throw in a Bosch. Very unique. Air Force Zone, we need to find the light switch. Okay. I don't see one here that controls this light. That's for the air handler, I'm assuming. Yep. Let's see. Uh, let's follow the yellow brick road. Uh, look by the, right there around the corner. See anything there? Yeah. Like a pipe doctor in there. This is a small attic. I got a little thing on it now. He does have a black thing in his mouth. Uh-huh. Are we done recovering? Oh uh, no. I still got the machine going. <clears throat> Hard at work. You know, maybe if he wasn't uh 70 pounds overweight, this wouldn't be such a tight space for him, but Poor guy, he loves his Don and his goose. And Latina's chicas. And Latina's chicas, indeed. All right. All right, 8.15. Here's the other half of the air handler. We're gonna cut out the steam unit because it's in the way. Thing was gonna be the automatic tubing cutter. We're gonna move this bad boy out of the way. And then we'll have plenty of room here. Well, more room than we had before. But you guys know what I'm talking about. You go into these attics. It's a effing mess. You don't know how you're going to get in there, but you get it done. Just like we're doing it right now. Do a small one? Okay. Yeah, small one. The air handler is gone. Except for me. I'm still here. We are now going to use the pipe wiper. We're going to wipe some pipe. We're not going to lay some pipe. We're going to wipe some pipe. What is your malfunction, maggot? Do you want your tube cutter or not? I'll, I'll bring it back down if you'd like. Oh, the longer we're here, the longer it is before you go to the gym. That's true. So I'm going to cut this end off with the tape. I taped it up to protect it. And what, kind of, what kind of... You're using the pipe wiper, right? Yeah. What kind of... I'm going to call it a projectile. Projectile? Close. Projectile. Pig. I'm going to shoot a piglet. A piglet. Piglet. We've got the nitrogen tank. All right, Dude, now... You, you want the sack? Yeah. You want the pig sack? I'll record it from outside. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the sack. Hold on. Here it is. There's the sack with the little clip. But don't record it in like 10K, all right? Record it like in like 1080, because okay. otherwise it's annoying. Does it have anything else, or this is it to catch it? You have the, 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 uh, the binder clip. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to do the large one first, the three-quarter. I'm going to figure this out. All right. There's my piglet. It's going to go in there. Like that. Something like that, I think. Spit on it first? Or? No. This is already secure. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this on there. All right. And then we're going to hook nitrogen to there. So let's see what happens. All right. We're going to start our nitrogen regulator at close to zero. <clears throat> and then we'll see what happens here. 
Hi, Piper. Let's call Daniel, make sure he's ready. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it yet. <clears throat> okay. This is the pipe wiper on the three quarter inch line set. Put him on speaker. It is. Blast it to 800 PSI. Bow. Please leave your message. Oh, come on, Daniel. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. It's open. There we go. Oh, I think I heard it. I did too. Did you get it yet? No. How many PSI you're at? I'm going slow. I don't want to. Well, what, what are you at now? Currently at. Not even, not even like 50 yet. What? It's making a thumping sound. The pig's trying to get out. Oh, I hear it. I hear it like going down the line. Yeah. Give it more pressure. What? Well, they open unless this is not really open. So all, all it goes? Yeah. I think we're out of nitrogen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, got it. Got it? Yeah, that was cool. You got it on video? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do that again. Let's do this again. I'm going to take another piglet. All right. One right here. I'm going to shove that in the hole. Right like that. I'm going to cover that right there. Okay, here we go. You ready, Daniel? All right. Here we go. Nice. Okay, we got the little piglet. Ready? Either this is going to blow off or it's not. So let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a... Where we have a leak? Where? Where's we can? The pig don't want to go. And I need somewhere. Well, let's try, uh... Let's try something else here. Let's take... This off there. Alright. Let's use this one instead. I think this is the right one. Okay. Let's take that there. He's still sitting there. He's in there. Piglet's right there, right? Yep. Here, yeah, little piggy, piggy, piggy. Okay, now. Let's take this off here. Okay, ready? It doesn't want to go, see? It's like yeah, stuck there. Leaf. Here. Oh. Pig, what's gone? How those smoker's lungs? It's not, it has nothing to do with that. What do you need? Besides a new Why don't left Why you get lung? your small ass in there? All right. All right. It is five minutes to 11. 
Let's set up and configure the Bosch BCC100 thermostat to work with this customer's brand new Bosch IDS 2.0 three ton air conditioning system. There it is. This is the main screen. So right now we're gonna configure it. We're not using a heat pump. So we're gonna set up that. We're gonna allow the thermostat to control the fan. We have one stage of fossil fuel because we have R, H, and W only. And we have two stage air conditioning because I have Y1 hooked up to the yellow wire on the air handler, which also goes to the yellow wire going to the condenser. And I have the um, orange wire that's leaving the thermostat, which is going to the purple wire on the air handler. So that's all fine there. We have no dehumidification. We have no humidifier, so we're good there. We're gonna set the date and time, okay? 11.55 a.m. No, sorry, 10.55 a.m. <laughs> See? 10.55 a.m., let's hit next. We're gonna do Wi-Fi later. And right now, we're gonna do no schedule. I'll let the homeowner figure that out later. Let's do a configuration. We're doing a fossil fuel. That's correct, because it's R, W, sorry, R, H, and W. So we're basically done. Review, perfect, complete. I wanna test the heating now. So we're gonna to go to system settings, mode. Let's go to heat. Okay, perfect. Let's raise the temperature to 80. And let's see if the zone in the boiler turned on. Yes, 2.0, I'll show you something you can handle. Come up and I'll show you. Newly installed. Perfect for stepsis to get stuck in right there. In the Bosch IDS 2.0. What is this? Like? Two ton? Three ton. Three ton. Three ton stepsister. Stepsister! It'll keep you nice and cool or nice and hot. <laughs> Filter the dryer. Get some of the line set there. Guide it in. Doing a pressure test now. Unfortunately, we have no flex. Flex is not available anywhere in the New York metropolitan area. Otherwise, we would replace some of it. I'll show something you can flex. <laughs> something wrong with you. Yeah, you're right. Peter, is there something wrong with Chris, Air I Force None? Oh. Uh, I wouldn't say there's something wrong with him. You wouldn't say there's something wrong? What, you scared of him? No. Oh. I think he's fine. You think he's functional? Yeah, he's functional. Functioning alcoholic. <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. All right, let's go head over outside and see what... Daniel's up to with the pressure test. Ain't she so pretty? She holding? Good. We can start vacuuming down. Excellent. The beautiful Bosch. The test mode on this, the pressure test on this. Yeah. It takes into account the temperature of the pipe. Really? So that like it actually knows if you're really losing or if it's just based on temperature differences. Oh, very nice. So for evacuation. Vacuum purposes, we're using the ACO tools, the True Blue Professional Kit. What are you looking for? The Schrader cores? Yeah. Right on top of the yeah, right there. Let's go Bosch, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like a Mikey Pipes Bosch Summer 2022 t-shirt, we got them available in medium, large. There's only one or two extra larges left, 2X and 3X. A donation of $23 is appreciated, and I'll mail that out to you anywhere in the United States. Email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com, for more details. Oh, stepsister. I'm about to blow. Oh. All right. Oh, my bunny elbow. Not much room here, but here's the air handler. Connect to existing plenum here. It's tight. Can't even get back there, but... We ran one along the top, supply trunk, line set, emergency float switch, new return plenum box with a new 14 inch takeoff with the existing 14 inch flex. Can't get flex, no flex. No bueno flex. Primary and secondary drains. There's a trap right there. And there's a steam unit, which is decommissioned. It's not even being used, but we'll just put it back at the place. And we water tested the drain. 
All right, 10 after 12. And some knuckleheads even say, stop looking at your watch while you're creating videos. We don't need to see how fast you do jobs. They're just hating. I know, that's the whole epic point. We're at 94.8 microns. Tits. Love Bosch. Hashtag, ladies and gentlemen, love Bosch. What was that? We don't even just do it faster than other people. We do it so much better. That's right, we do. People. Because we exercise and we practice professional techniques and doing the right job. Day in and day out. I don't know how it takes some of these guys three days to replace a central air conditioning system with ductwork. If I really wanted to, we could replace all the duct work as long as we have flex available, right? We could bang this out before four o'clock with the line set if I really, really wanted to. And if it was in the budget, and that's what the customer wanted. Here, we need flex, but we can't get flex. No flex available, back ordered indefinitely. But hashtag love boss, ladies and gentlemen. Do it right now in the comment section. And also, below. If you're looking for a magical pipe wrench, it's been a while since we spoke about this. There's two ways of doing it. Number one, you can become a member of the channel. And for as little as $2.99 a month, you could be classified as a homeowner. And then from there, I think the highest plan is $19.95 a month, which gives you certain advantages. You get sneak peeks before I drop a video, which is on a daily basis. You can see them first and you get some swag and you get a chance maybe to meet Bubbles. You can also smash that dollar sign during a live premiere and show me love with a super sticker, a super like, or just a gift as little as 99 cents. And I'll drop you a magical pipe wrench next to your name. So anytime you post in any comment or you, uh, you comment during a live stream or a live premiere, others are gonna see that you have a magical pipe wrench and they're gonna be jealous. So make sure you get yourself a magical pipe wrench. Saint Mike commands you to do it now. Daniel, what, what, um, how much more time should we give the vacuum process? I mean, technically we're good. <laughs> 92. 92 already? Yeah. And an industry standard is 500 microns, right? We bring it down to as low as she will go. Because I'm a lunatic. No, we just do things the right way. We're at 92.2 microns right now. Industry standard is 500 or less. A lot of you guys get it down to 500 and you call it a day. I bring it down to at least 300, oftentimes 200. And if it's a really, really dry and tight system, we'll bring the thing down even below 100. And then we use the BlueVac Plus Pro micron gauge with the app and we do a decay test. And the a decay test will tell us if the system is tight and leak free. Good to know, check it out. You could uh, get all this stuff online. I think you get it at supplyhouse.com. All right, 91.4 microns. Excellent, excellent. Take a look at this amazing control board here. Manufacturer suggested retail price is 2000 bucks. But have no fear, it's guaranteed for 10 years. And also on all of our Bosch IDS 2.0 installs, we install surge protection. Here's the RSH50 by Rector Seal. It's wired right there at the disconnect panel. Protecting the customer's investment from power surges. Daniel's now gonna break out the app. And there's an update available. We'll, we'll, we'll do that later. All right, it's gonna connect. We hit the connect button. Connecting. Are you gonna press the button on it? A little Bluetooth button. Let me hit connect again. Not connected. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, we'll start the K test. Let's hit the the button. Start the K-Test, all right, and let's see what it does. Is it closed? Yeah. And it's dropping. <laughs> it's shot up I know, it's, it's awesome, by the way. That's how tight the system is. 
There it is. The decay has passed. What would you like to do? Well, we're done. Look at that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a proper evacuation and vacuuming of a system. Look at that. 92 microns. 92 microns. We have a 60-foot line set. We used the pipe wiper. We installed the Bosch BCC 100 digital control. We have the Rector Seal surge protector. We have the high-rise pad for the heat pump condenser. Only thing we have to do now is get paid. You can't even hear it. But that one, my God, it's loud. If I was the neighbor, I'd be pissed. But I'd be happy that they get, they get the Bosch too. Love Bosch. Oh, love Bosch. Six, six, six. Perfect. Very, very nice. Awesome job. All right. It is 12.45, and there's only one thing left to do. <sighs> Got the oval raised pipe doctor sticker. Look at that really sets it apart from everyone else and if you ain't testing you're guessing that's me mikey pipes it's me mikey pipes with the bosch ids 2.0 heat pump condenser i got looks like a testo printer they got the refrigeration gauges I'm wearing a pound of gold i'm wearing a pound of gold if you're interested in any of these stickers I get them from Armor Decal. They're in Ontario, Canada. I'll put their contact information down in the description box down below. Mention my name and they'll take care of you. If you're interested in any Mikey Pipe stickers, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. We got plenty of money in the postage fund, so wherever you are in the world, I'll mail them out to you. Afghanistan, Antarctica, Iceland, Russia. I mean, if you're in Russia, come work for me, Mikey Pipes. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be well, God bless, stay safe.